Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you all the details of the Dacia Santero and this is the upgraded model. So it features the product content upgrades and design upgrades. It also features new safety systems to meet the new GSR2 requirements. And you can also see there is no more radar. It's been replaced by the camera that is over here for the various driver assist and safety systems. In terms of design, you can see that we have the new wheels on this one and also the new color so there are two new colors available for the Sandero this is the green one it's called oxide green in the creation configurator but I think on the other markets you will find it under the cedar green color now also the wheels this is the journey trim by the way and we have the lovely new wheels the 16 inch ones you see also the dual tone finish I think they really suit the car very well the shell gray is also available there are six colors available for the Sandero and the white one is for free in Croatia so I think the white will also be popular but I think this uh, green one and also the new gray one are my favorites uh, for this car now on the front again no more radar you have the camera and then here of course the new Dacia logo DNC like the links of the chain and then the lovely Y shape of the headlamps uh, of the data running LEDs here and uh, the LED lights so if I press this you can see the LEDs with the daytime running uh, LEDs and then here are the main units and uh, this is flickering just on the camera of course and yeah we want to hear your thoughts how do you like the design now moving on to the side 4 meters 8.8 .8 centimeters is the length of the car you can also see the new uh, gloss black shark fin antenna so looking very nice and giving it modern look and again this is the journey trim so in terms of trims uh, essential expression and journey and yeah the shark antenna comes on the journey trim and let me show you the wheels once again and uh, let's see the dimension of the tires 195 uh, 55 r16 and again beautiful finish now the base one would get the 15 inch steel wheels with the covers then the middle trim steel wheels 16 inch ones with the new covers that actually look very nice and then here we have the 16 inch randia wheels uh, they are called like that and also special finish for the wing mirrors giving it more sporty look and now let me show you the rear of the car so turn on the lights and from this angle really looks so good now you see the y shape here also uh, for the tail lights and uh, of course the Dacia lettering and then the Sandero lettering in here uh, this is the sticker and then this is uh, like the 3D lettering looking very nice indeed you have the sensors over there and then the rear view camera is located in here and also the rescue QR code stickers on front and here at the rear as well and now another look at the shark antenna and uh, yeah well now we are ready to check out the trunk space so let me open the tailgate 410 liters up to 1455 liters when you fold the seats additional room down there you have the hooks for your shopping bags on both sides and yeah overall very practical car indeed and uh, yeah now i want to hear your thoughts on the exterior design how do you like this color how do you like those wheels and uh, we are ready to check out uh, the interior of the car of course so let's open the car and uh, this is the door pocket that is actually pretty big and then here are the switches for the windows and the mirrors this is how it looks um, in driver's view so the Dacia lettering on the steering wheel the standard dials and the smaller screen between them 8 inch touchscreen in the middle and then these are the seats lovely pattern on those and uh, now let's see it from driver's perspective Starting with a wider angle, four spoke steering wheel, 
the standard dials 3.5 inch DFT screen. Then here you have the main touchscreen, the 8 inch screen. Love the pattern here, uh, just like the pattern on the sides. And yeah, overall the dashboard has a nice clean design. And now let me show you with different view and show you more details. All right then, so this is your steering wheel. Love the Dacia lettering in here. And then the 3.5 DFT screen between the dials. This is the phone holder. And of course you can remove it. There is a USB port here, eight inch touchscreen, uh, slightly angled towards the driver, giving you a nice driver oriented feel here inside. And then here are some of the buttons. Let me actually turn on the car. So you see how the dials go up. I think that's very cool. And uh, yeah, here you have the AC uh, that can be controlled on the standard switches and dials. So that's always a nice solution and also feels very nice in hand. 12 volt power supply. Here is the USB-C port. This is the gear lever for the five speed manual. Feels very nice in hand and then electronic parking brake and the 1.2 liter middle armrest uh, actually middle armrest with the 1.2 liter storage compartment that is the optional extra available on the journey trim here are the cup holders and then you also have quite a lot of room in here in the glove compartment start stop can be deactivated in here this is the button for the eco mode lock and hazard light button and then uh, also I want to show you this. So this is new My Safety uh, switch. So if you press, press again for My Safety Perso, and then now it is selected. So by law, new cars need to have the speed warning, which means as soon as you go over a speed limit, like a few kilometers, it will start to beep. And then if you want to uh, deactivate that, uh, Usually you would need to go into the menu uh, for the driver assist systems, find this speed warning and then turn it off. But with this one, you can uh, preset it. So you can set your settings for, uh, you know, for the personal uh, my safety. And then as soon as you press it twice, actually, then uh, the system is active. So for example, here we have the speed uh, warning assist turned off uh, in this my safety setting so i think that's pretty convenient now the infotainment system let's go through the details but not gonna go through all of them as it's a well-known system from dacia we saw it on the other models as well so here you have this sort of like the minimal screen press it again to go back into the main menu here you have the vehicle settings so you see here driver assist and this car really has a lot of technology again to meet with the GSR2 requirements uh, we have various driver assist systems as you can see here and then also here is where you can uh, then um, adjust the settings for the access for the vehicle and here for the parking assist let me actually show you the rear view camera so in order to go into reverse course push the clutch and then this is your view let's go back and uh, yeah well uh, now these are the driver assist settings and let's go back I want to show you the navigation so there we go and you have different views available so as you can see here, 3D, 2D, and this kind of view. And um, yeah, let's go back now. Smartphone integration. So uh, you can pair your smartphone, a Bluetooth connection, and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Now here are the settings for the system, audio settings, display settings. So you have options of brightness and then day and night mode so night mode would be just a bit uh, less dark but for example uh, navigation would be like this in the night mode and uh, yeah, back to settings so let's put it to auto devices system settings and then you can change various things in here 
and uh, yeah well here you have the drive assist uh, like the shortcut and then if you press this you have the screensaver which is actually very nice and relaxing in my opinion you have the time the current uh, temperature and the date and you need to press this again in order to go back and uh, yeah well I think that's pretty much it not gonna go through all the details uh, but yeah here is the Bluetooth connection uh, so yeah very easy to use the system and uh, you will be familiar with it uh, in no time so yeah big thumb up from me now here you have the light and let me also show you the sun visor there we go hello there and also for the passengers so now we are ready to check out the rear bench and before we do that let me just show you this so also by pressing the button here you can change uh, between different views that you have here and different driving information here in front of you another view from the side and now let me show you the rear bench nice angle of opening for the rear doors here you have the small door pocket and now without further ado let's jump here so there we go and here you have the storage compartment USB-C port and the 12 volt power supply storage in here and let me show you how it looks for my head there we go this is very good because I'm 1 meter 87 and I have huge amount of room still left so uh, for a car of this size this is really impressive and a big thumb up from me in terms of powertrains for the new Dacia Sandero in Croatia there are two choices either this one which is the 1 liter TCE 90 uh, which means 1 liter turbocharged petrol unit 91 PS or 90 horsepower 67 kilowatts 160 newton meters of torque and the engine is paired to a 5 speed manual transmission now the other option is the eco g so the lpg the bi fuel version and that one has 100 horsepower and is also paired to a 5 speed manual tell me in the comments what would be your choice of powertrain let me show you the indicators as well so this is how it looks from the front we have the daytime running leds running and then the indicators as well from the side and this is the view from the rear all right guys that's it thank you very much for watching this video do subscribe to the channel we are now going on a point of view test drive so stay tuned for that Thank you for watching this video and see you on the next one. Bye bye.